I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the design, cut a new panel. That one we may paint, because I think that one could be really, really close to representative of what the uh, production parts would look like. So I'm gonna get to it. Hey guys, Matt here. We're out in the shop at the back of our 2023 Chevy Colorado R&D truck. We introduced this to you guys a few weeks ago in a video and we are now finally digging into prototyping some of the design work we've been doing. We are going to do the bedside molly panels. So we're the inventors of the bedside molly panels. We did it back in 2017. We have a patent on it um, and that's all great. But other people have kind of copied the idea and adapted it to different trucks while we're kind of catching up. Um, and, and that's a little bit annoying, but the flip side of that is because other people, I'll call them the copycats, have done it already in this truck. The advantage that we have is now we can see that and ensure that not only is our product excellent like they always are, but that it's even better, a better product, a better offering, maybe at a better price point than some of the other options. So um, we're looking at this as kind of a blank sheet, but we do also have a couple of reference points, which benefits us because frankly, it saves us a little bit of time and it benefits customers because uh, they know they're getting an excellent option or alternative. So. Uh, where we're at right now with this is we've done some 3D scanning, we have some OEM CAD data, we've designed the panel, I've started with the driver's side here. Um, the other panels that we've found that are available kind of fit this smaller recess here. Um, one of the challenges is that the three mounting points are pretty high up here and without kind of a third mounting point of some sort to triangulate, you're kind of, you're pushing and pulling with a lot of leverage on these mounting points up here. So that is a problem that we're going to work on solving so that we can provide a panel with maximum coverage. Um, so we have a design right now. I cut a prototype last night. Um, I've got some 3D printed mounts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap uh, quarter 20 threads in the 3D printed mount so that we can assemble the prototypes. I'm going to go hunt down some hardware and some of our bed mounting blocks and then we'll grab the panel unpainted and do a quick test fit. And then uh, we'll kind of evaluate there, see if we need to make any changes for the driver side or for, excuse me for the passenger side as well and then uh, play around with kind of one of those triangulation mounting points on here without requiring permanent modification of the truck. So I know that was a lot, but the first thing we're gonna do is tap the holes in these brackets. Okay, so this is a really rough prototype of a support bracket that's gonna space the panel out from the bedside. This would be bent from sheet metal with threaded inserts here. And I've added this side so that our 3D printed prototypes have a bunch of rigidity, but this would not be necessary in a pro production piece. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tap these four holes for quarter 20 threads. That just makes it easier for us to piece our prototypes together without screwing around with threaded inserts or nuts and bolts, things like that. So we've got the three plugs out here. Next step we're gonna do is prep these blocks. All right, so now we have our three prototype anchors set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and install them. Now we're going to test fit this panel, which is pretty heavy. I mean, this is, we make our panels out of steel, typically. This panel probably weighs 12 pounds. And obviously we're attaching it to some 3D printed prototype brackets. So we're going to, I'll be gentle. The bed of the truck and all of the lines running horizontally are not parallel with the bed rail. Hmm. This bed rail gets taller, the bed gets deeper as you get closer to the cab. So the line from the top of the panel over here isn't perfectly parallel with the bed rail cap. 
aesthetically it bothers me. Functionally, I, I, I'm confident that the way we have this design right now is that you would want all of your mounting features horizontal. But I was tempted to add meat to the panel here to make that line straight. But there's just not really a reason to do that. That's where I draw the line between form and function is just adding material for no reason. <laughs> just to make it look aesthetically yeah. pleasing. It looks, it, you can barely notice that right now. All right, well, sitting in the bed, it's more noticeable. All right, so this, we would consider this a successful test fit. Everything it basically fits as we would expect it to fit based on our CAD models and our scans. Um, things left to address are um, combining the brackets up here with our bed mount system to try and make it basically to make it more economical to manufacture and then of course to purchase um, these these brackets start to add up pretty quickly um, we also need to experiment with a third mounting point so that the panel is not sliding uh, is not able to pivot like this we typically will put a, a rubber bumper down here to keep it from uh, swinging closer to the bed but nothing then would keep it from swinging out this is actually pretty stable and we do mount like this in the in the GM full-size trucks but these mounting points are a little bit higher so I want to experiment with something there and then the last thing to experiment with is um, you can see this the top line of the panel here is is horizontal with everything else in the bed except that the bed rail cap slopes up towards the cab so it looks a little bit crooked um, I think I'm gonna leave it like that we'll paint this nice texture black to kind of match our production finish and then we'll kind of just see if it feels okay once it looks more like a production piece. So that's the path forward. We got a couple of other interesting ideas to experiment with here. So I'm gonna do that as well as design a passenger side panel and then we'll check back in. All right, so this is the second iteration. I did actually do it on the passenger side just to be able to see a full set of panels in the bed. Um, but this replaces the existing tie-down block and metal bracket with one tie-down block bracket feature um, that we would injection mold from a glass fiber reinforced nylon. Um, would be super, super strong. Um, simplifies it with less hardware. And then the other thing I experimented with is this suction cup. We basically don't need a way to keep the panel from swinging in. That's not a concern because we can use rubber bumpers. And there's not a lot of force that would create a, like an outward swing on the panel. Um, but if we can, I'd like to mitigate it somehow. I designed the, basically the surface of the panel to sit based on where this suction cup would have it. This one is way overkill. And so I've got this three inch suction cup here, but that's a little bit lower profile. So I can actually set the panel in like another two tenths of an inch or so, which is gonna reduce these, the size of these brackets too. So this is really close. I think I'm gonna iterate again on back on the driver's side to basically do this, but set the panel in a little bit so that we can test the theory on that suction cup. They keep calling it a suction cup. It's not really a suction cup. It's, it's a vacuum cup with a vacuum pump. So it's like not what you think of when you think of a suction cup, um, like you would stick to a window. So I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the design cut a new panel. That one we may paint because I think that one could be really, really close to representative of what the uh, production parts would look like. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, so here's how we're ending the week with the Colorado project, the bedside molly racks obviously here we've been working on. Uh, we've made a couple more revisions to the brackets 
Um, we need to kind of work on manufacturability on this, understand what's possible there, and then probably prototype something that is even closer to a production level part. Um, and then we'll do some FEA to run to make sure that from a strength perspective, these are not going to be an issue. They shouldn't be, um, but we'll verify that. And then we'll probably fit some of this up to look a little bit more like production and uh, get some panels powder coated and really test them out. So that, that, those are kind of the next steps as we work through bringing it from a one-off prototype pre-production kind of uh, uh, result to a commercialized product that we can sell for a competitive price point and all that kind of, uh, frankly, that's like the less fun part for me. But we got to do it in order to get these in your hands. So uh, we'll be sharing with more of that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll catch you next Monday.